Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl, Dr. Samir, and I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it's what? It is free, and let's get into this video. <music> to demonstrate and show you guys what are the five steps needed to do before you get straight into the market okay so first things first we have to go to the platform whether that's on your mt4 platform on your phone or via um, your computer or if you're just simply using trading view altogether all right so the first thing that you guys want to definitely understand and witness before getting into the market is understanding the market structure that is the main thing you need to know about the market if you trade one pair that you normally trade all the time and you guys know my only pair that i love to trade is us 30 and unfortunately, we are not on US 30. So let's get to US 30. <laughs> so we're on US 30, y'all. And I said the first thing you want to know and witness is the market structure. What I mean by the market structure is going to be number one is the trend of the market, okay? If you guys have been familiar with my structure, I trade with the trend. I never trade against the trend. If you trade against the trend, the trends, I'm not going to even give you a percentage, but most of the time you're probably ending up going to blow your account or you're probably just going to lose all of your trades. And that is just not what we're trying to do when we're in the market because you're playing with your money, your real money. OK, so first things first, I want to witness what is the market market structure that's either an uptrend, that's either a downtrend or that's either considering consolidation. So let me show you an example of either or. So guys, this is classified as an uptrend. This is what I mean by an uptrend, okay? This is an uptrend. This is what I want to trade with. Anytime that you see an uptrend, that means you're nine times out of 10 looking for buys. You're never going to look for sales unless you are a scalper trader. If you're someone who likes to get their little 10 pips and dip or five pips and dip or maybe two pips and dip, you can go ahead and do your little sell moments. But for uptrends, for beginner purposes, you want to go ahead and do buy opportunities because there's a lot more buy opportunities in the uptrend than or versus the um sell opportunities all right so this is a downtrend guys and it does not have to be perfect this is what you call a downtrend okay this is where you see a higher high okay downtrends are a lot of higher highs uptrends are going to be a lot of lower lows okay because you're you're looking for positions to buy whereas your your um your downtrends are going to be looking for opportunities for sales. As you guys can see, each time that it hits in this price area up here, we're going down. And then here, going down, okay? Again, you can possibly look for a buy opportunity, but as you guys can see with the buy opportunities, it's a lot more risk than benefit because you don't know precisely where it's going to stop at. OK, because it never recovers all the way back to this actual price line. So why would I even get into a price line going for a buy on a downtrend? OK, so remember, for both your uptrend and downtrends, that's the main things that you're looking for as far as trading. When you see that in the market, this is a great opportunity to start making further your analysis. This is consolidation. Anytime that you see that the market is just hitting a price price point here and then they revert back down to this price point, then they keep going to the same price points each time. This is where you're in a consolidation. Me personally, I stay away. I avoid consolidation within the market. It's just not a good outcome for me. I have tried to learn how to trade within consolidation, but I am just not that trader. It just does not work for me. Now, some occasions you may get away with maybe 10 to 20 pips, but 
I don't find it as effective compared to actually trading with either the uptrend or the downtrend. So word of advice, try it out, but on your demo account, don't use your real money, okay? Don't use your real money. Try it with your demo account first and see if that's something that you like. Now, I know some traders who trade all different types of structures within the market, but I personally only trade the uptrend and the downtrend. So it goes based on your preference, okay? Right, second thing that you guys want to make sure is you want to identify what is going on within the news, okay? Sometimes the news, not even sometimes, majority of the time, the news can really affect your decision within the market. Okay, so you want to go to forexfactory.com. Things that is very important as far as the news. So once you identify the market structure, guys, don't jump in right away. Okay, you still want to see is there any news during the time that you are actually looking at the market that is going to potentially affect your overall decision on what you're going to do as far as making either a buy or a sell. Okay. You are going to pay attention to these folders here, all right? So as you guys can see, down here, they kind of go over what these folders initially mean, okay? So as for the holidays, there's not really as much red folders right now, okay? But as you guys know, during the holidays, it gets very hectic. This is not actually a good time to go into the market. Now, if you decide to go into the market, just grab and go. Do not do anything longer than you normally do. Don't try to be greedy, just grab and go, literally, okay? So for this instance, when it comes to your folders, you wanna pay attention to your high impact. Now, medium impact, low impact, maybe have some sort of potential to um, basically changing the market, but the red folder shows so much more impact compared to all the other folders. So keep in mind, anytime that you see a red folder, okay, and you are trading USD, um, EUR USD, and they say something is occurring in London where so-and-so, something has happened, maybe oil, something in that nature, and now you have a red flag, a red folder, right? They're going to tell you what's going on. So for example, as you guys can see, this is a red folder, right? It happened 40 hours ago, okay? And they're basically telling you that personal income increased 80.1 billion. If you look at this folder, it kind of goes a little bit more in detail if you're just very curious about what's going on. It was posted on December 20, 23rd at 7.30 a.m. Okay, so this happened 40 hours ago. So what's very important to take away from this is let's say you were in the market at eight o'clock a.m., okay? You, as a trader, want to make sure that you are staying away at least an hour from the market. Because if not, the market's gonna most likely reverse, okay? If the market for, for whatever pair that you're trading is an uptrend, nine times out of 10, the market is going to reverse and go down. It's gonna be a long candle to revert the whole market. The reason why this happens is because of the news. Pay attention to the news, guys. I know that that is probably a step that you mostly do not use, but it is a crucial step to help determine and to make sure that you are getting all of the profit that you need, okay, based on your goal. You always wanna pay attention to the story stats and you always wanna pay attention to the time and the date. So if you are trading on the 23rd, okay, and that was on Friday and you're up in the morning at eight o'clock and you notice that this came out 7.30 and this is a high impact breaking news folder stay away from the market. Not necessarily staying away altogether because you may become a little scalper and grab 10 pips, but you want to be cautious is what I want to clarify. Number three, number three is to find your price line. Find your price line. 
Y'all, y'all already know I use support and resistance. That's my go-to strategy. That's what works for me. That is how I make my money from the market. Confirmation for me is to make sure that all of that, all of the other time frames are going in the same direction as my 15 minute. I'm looking at the 30 minute, the one hour, the four hour in the day. I am determining that my overall decision on whether I want to go into a sale versus a buy is basically showing proof that all day or all, all this hour is still going to be in a downtrend. So let's look, we're on the 15 minute. We've seen that it's going into a downtrend. Let's, let's check out the 30. Let's scoot it up here. All right. So 30, we see a little downtrend. Okay. This is the downtrend, right? So let's go on to the hour. Uh oh, not two hours. Let's go on to the hour. Hour is showing a downtrend, right? Let's go down to the four hour. Downtrend as well. Let's go down to the one day. Downtrend as well. This is where I'm going to go back to my 15 minute chart and I'm going to find my entry level. What is my entry level price line? In order to identify that, I have to secure my support and resistant lines. Once you, once you create your support and resistant lines, that is where you find your price line of where you wanna get in. As you guys should already know, my style is mostly entries, okay? So I'm either going to do a buy stop or a sell stop or a buy limit or a sell limit. It just doesn't matter, okay? And that's the reason why I want to find a really decent price line. Number four, you wanna make sure you find your TP. Your goal is to have in your book that, hey, my goal every single day that I get into this market or every other day, whatever your plan is, is that, hey, I am securing 10 pips. Whether that be 10 pips, 10 pips, not pips, 10 pips or 20 pips or 20 points or 100 pips, you know that you need to secure that. You have to have a TP. Because anything can happen, guys. It's very important that you have a TP, especially when you are getting in as a market execution or just a pending order. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to look away from the market and then all of a sudden you forgot to put a TP and now your account is blown. You want to avoid any mistakes that can be avoided from the beginning, okay? You want to be aware of that. And number five, it's very important as a trader is to have a stop loss. I know that I typically tell you guys that I do not use stop losses on occasions due to my confidence, due to me understanding more about the market. But you as a beginner trader, it's very important that you have stop losses because anything can happen within the in the market altogether. If you're not watching the market, then it's going to be hard for you to recover. So to avoid from having such huge losses, you know, set a goal of, hey, if this trade does not go the way that I want it to go, if it does not hit my TP, I at least just want to feel comfortable with losing $10. It may be a dollar. What are you comfortable at? So that at the end of the day, even if you do not hit that TP, at least you just lost $10 and you can just double that the next day or you can look back into the market and find another opportunity and make both your $10 from the loss that you lost earlier. And then if your goal to make 10 more dollars, then you make additional 10 more dollars, right? So that is the end of this video, guys. I hope that this video is very informative for you all. If you haven't already, and if you are new to this channel, go ahead and go like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel because it is what? It is free, guys. And I'm super excited to start this new year with you guys. Happy holidays and see you guys in the next video. Bye.